Hello, Scorpios. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, what acts might be taking towards you. Just whatever the cards want to say. And so I know not long ago I was getting that this person may have lost your phone number. There's just this, this strange energy with this group. Um, and they, the last reading I did, I was also getting that that they know that you felt their energy shift away from you. But the reason why is because they're trying to sort some things out in their life before they come back. Like if you're long distance, for example, just to reiterate, they they might be trying to, you know, save up some money for a plane ticket or something, or they might be getting out of a karmic situation. They're basically just wanting to make sure they have all their ducks in a row. They're wanting to come back stable and loyal. They want to make sure that they come back with a solid love offer. So there's just some things in their life that they're kind of focusing on trying to figure it out so they can, yeah, so they can move ahead. Maybe some karmic cycles they might be wrapping up right now. Dreams, visions, telepathy, reconciliation. I feel like that their dreams and, and, you know, the psychic energy is leading them to reconcile with you. It's like there's still a very strong telepathic bond here. You guys might be dreaming about each other as well. You might be showing up in their dreams, kind of sending them healing energy in the higher realms, um, leading them back to you. And we have sense of belonging, home, safe space. Make your move, green light. Yeah, there's. it feels like they're really wanting to make a move. True love, potential life partner. So it looks like for this group, this is a potential life partner that's coming in. Pause, reflection, rest. Okay. Choose a path. X the past. Okay. <laughs> New love. Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that right below. Look at this. Do you see this? <laughs> Choose a path. You've got two separate roads. And right below each road. That's crazy. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay. I don't think I could get any deeper confirmation than this that you have two potential love options unless unless this is your person or it could be both even you know this could be your your person that maybe they have a karmic cycle with um with a partner that they're wrapping up and they they want to be loyal they want to be stable this person has a lot of integrity there i think that they're a good person so they might not Maybe they just don't want to cheat, but they're wanting to choose you, but maybe they need to wrap up a situation with the karmic. Like maybe they just don't want to break the karmic's heart or maybe some of them have kids with the karmic or they're living with the karmic or there's some kind of like family situation or something that's keeping them tied to that, but they're wanting to get away, but they want to do it the right way. They don't just want to up and leave in the middle of the night and break this person's heart. They want to try to kind of ease out of it. You know, maybe they wanted to give it their best shot before they officially gave up. Um, and they're maybe wanting to, um, I just feel like this is a very honorable person that you have here. So it's like they, they, if, if they are in a karmic relationship right now, it's like they, they might be choosing you, like their heart is choosing you, but they just, they want to do the right thing as well. You know, they don't want to cheat on anyone. So they, they're not, they don't want to message you and like be talking to you when they're still with someone else, even if they are missing you. So they might be trying to figure out the best way for all parties involved. I feel like this person just, I feel like this person carries the weight of the world on their shoulders. Like they have a lot of guilt, a lot of, you know, they just seem like they have a very big heart. So it, it kind of feels like they, they don't want to hurt you. They don't want to hurt them. They're, you know, maybe they, for a while, they might've wanted to give it their best shot with the karmic. And now they're, you know, choosing you and deciding, starting to decide, like leaning in this current energy, I feel them leaning more towards you. Like, thinking that they would be happier with you. But I think they, that they care about the karmic and they want to maintain a friendship with the karmic. So like I said, they don't want to just leave in the middle of the night. They want to, you know, figure out the best way to do this with all parties involved. Um, so that could be where they're at. And for others, so a third party isn't always a person. I get a third party energy here that there's a third party that's like, 
you know, separating separating you two right now, but it, it's not always a person. It looks like for most of you, it probably is a third party situation, like with the person, but it could also be, you know, distance, like living somewhere else. Like I was saying in one of the one of the recent videos I was doing, some of them are trying to better their their situations, trying to, you know, save some money, trying to, you know, figure out, you know, how are you guys going to do a long distance relationship? Like they, it seems like this person is very, they're very caring, but they're also very logical. So they really want a plan. They don't want to just, it, it, this doesn't feel like someone that would just impulsively text you. This seems like someone who would really plan things out. Um, this, this seems like a king or queen of pentacles type energy. Like someone could be an earth sign um, or someone who has a lot of earth in their chart. Just seems like someone who's very, like, you know, grounded, very, you know, stable. Or they're trying to be stable if they haven't been stable in the past. So they wouldn't want to just rush in. They want to make sure, you know, like the thing, like everything with the karmic has ended. Like, you know, the divorce is finalized. The the plane ticket's been bought. You know, they've 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 found a way around you know different work schedules or whatever it might be they just they want to have all those ducks in a row before they come forward um so this is kind of a continuation of that energy where they're still working on that but i see them choosing you more than before i mean it seems like they might have given the karmic a another shot like maybe the karmic might have said like hey can we please like i know this isn't going well but can we please try like couples counseling or can we can we just give it one more try? And I think your person agreed like, okay, let's, let's, let's see if we can do this, you know, cause there might, I think that the love is gone, but there might be like an obligation there, like children or family or something else of that nature, like, you know, a long friendship that they've had something of that sort. So I think they, they wanted to give it one last shot, but I, I feel like this person feels like they're coming to the conclusion that, you know, it's time to move on from this. It's time to whatever this karmic cycle might be, whether it's a person, whether it's a situation, whether it's a living situation, whatever it might be there, your person is deciding it's time to wrap this karmic cycle up and go down a different path. Um, so the energy I'm getting here is that they're really, you know, choose a path and look, you got the X, the past, and you have new love faded encounter. So they're choosing between these two people. They're choosing between an ex and between a new love, which might be, might have been destiny, might have been like someone that you, this could be someone that maybe you didn't get to know that well. Like you, it was like a love at first sight type of deal, but like you guys didn't actually get to officially be boyfriend, girlfriend, or boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, you know. Like it, it didn't, it was like the wrong timing. Because I've been getting that with this, this group of Scorpios, that there's someone It was like, the right person, but the wrong timing. And some of you met this person like at like a bar or a club or somewhere else. And it was like, you met them out in public and it was just like perfect. Like it was like love at first sight, but there was like, they were about to move away or you were about to move away. Or one of you was dating someone or, you know, whatever the situation might've been. Maybe both of you were dating other people. Like something was just kind of keeping you guys apart. Like, but it, it felt right to you, but it just didn't, I mean, it felt like the right person to both of you. Like that chemistry was that passion was definitely there, but it was just, it wasn't, there, there was obstacles, there was karmic cycles that needed to be completed first, and choose a path, it feels, yeah, it feels like this person's choosing between, you know, this, this faded encounter, this, you know, new love, destiny, and someone from their past that they have a history with, or this could also be you, this could, this could be this could be you. You could be choosing between two people. You could be choosing between this could be an ex of yours. And you might be choosing between this ex and a new love that's just coming or about to come in. That might be a faded encounter just coming out of nowhere. Like you might be choosing between two people or maybe both of you guys are. Maybe both of you have another option and you're, you know, it, it's something that you guys are figuring out. It does look like one of these options, though, is, is your potential life partner. It does. This does feel like a soulmate, twin flame kind of relationship. And there's a psychic bond here, too, that's leading them back to you. It feels like, you know, sen re reconciliation, sense of belonging, home, safe space, like that, that feeling of just, I think they just spelled a home with you, even if, even if they didn't know you very long, I felt like there was soul recognition. Like there, you guys have had past lives together. 
so I think that they just felt really close to you, even if, even if they didn't logically understand why. You know, I think that they just felt like their home is with you. So this this psychic energy that's coming up, it's it's um, they're they're kind of starting to give into this passion and this emotion more and more, even if they're not expressing it, and and they're wanting to make this move. Um, but I think it's interesting because we have a true love potential life partner. So this person might be, be becoming more and more aware that this is destiny. Like even if you guys didn't really, it's like this, that movie serendipity. So it's like, even if you guys didn't like hang out that much, they might just be reflecting on the past right now and just kind of coming to these conclusions, like that there was something real here that needs to be explored. You know, there is real potential here, but they, they're pausing and reflecting right now and kind of going inward and trying to figure this out because like there's there's two people here that they need to choose from or there's or you're pausing and there's two people you need to choose from but you know someone knows that it's time to choose a path is the energy that I'm getting and if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into it and you know see who these two people are uh, see what's going on with the karmic what's going on how they're feeling about you whatever you want to know really just send me an email my email address is right below this video in the description box. The email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And you can just copy the email, you know, copy and paste it into your email and send me an email. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My donation links are below too, so I really appreciate that. Thank you guys for that. And please re um, subscribe if it resonates. I do these readings pretty regularly. I've been going live more often, too, if any of you guys like live videos. Okay, nostalgia, longing. Shyness, fear of rejection. Yeah, there's a sense of nostalgia here, but like also like a shyness. Like maybe it's been a while since you guys have talked. Um... The divine, there's a lot of psychic energy here. There's a lot of like synchronicity, like true love, soulmate energy here, uh, or twin flame energy here. So divine intervention. This is, it feels like the divine is like their spirit guides are trying to push them towards you. They're trying to push them out of the shyness or their fears or insecurities and get them to get out of this nostalgic energy and, and, you know, choose something, but they might, you know, have this period where they have to, they do need to maybe pause and reflect and rest and, you know, make this decision. Cause this is a huge life decision. Like, are they really like, I think that the love is gone with the karmic, but there might just be some like moral obligations or something. And there is a friendship there. I feel like a deep friendship, like they've known each other a long time. So it's kind of, it's a difficult situation for those that are in that karmic situation, you know, for those of for, for those in this energy group where it is a where the third party is a karmic and not just like a living situation or something else so I think that they have to kind of pause right now um if you're feeling like they're kind of distant I don't think they're distant necessarily I think that they're just focusing on this energy and, and making these major life decisions because it's a major risk too because if you know if you have this history with someone they might be questioning it a little bit because if you're if you're the new love if you're the fated encounter if this is you and you're not the ex then it's like you know the karmic or the ex is someone that they maybe they've been with them for years like maybe it's a karmic cycle that's come that's gone on for a long time and maybe a part of them is like feeling like you are their soulmate or you are their twin flame or their tr you know their true love but they maybe they only talk to you a few times or like you guys kind of casually dated but it's like it didn't something came in and separated you two. So it's like, you don't have that same, you might not have that same history as the karmic does with them. Like not as long of a history, you know what I mean? And it's not in this lifetime. So that's kind of why they have to reflect on this because they're like, okay, is this really like, they don't want to be alone either. You know what I mean? They're like, okay, is this really logical? Is this really, should I follow my heart? Should I really leave the karmic and go with this new love? Like, is this, Am I being irrational or impulsive? Like, am I being too hasty? Like, is this, like, is this really safe for me to open and follow my heart with this person that I, you know, maybe have never officially dated or maybe dated for a short period of time? Like, is this, is this really the right path for me? Like, they, they got to, there's, there's two major paths here that they have to consider. Or like I said, this could be you. You could have two people and you have to consider this. You got to stop and, you know, 
choose what's best for you because this is like a major life decision that someone has coming up here. So it feels like that's where they're at now. Mutual feelings, emotional depth, trapped blocks tied up, adventure, honeymoon, vacation. You know, they could be like maybe some financial issues or something, but it's like they need to. Hmm. There could be distance separating some of you as well. But they're wanting this new start with you. They're wanting this adventure, this honeymoon, this vacation energy with you. Like they are, they are in that energy. The feelings are mutual with this with this group. Cold guarded, distrusting, toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. Risk reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So yeah, things might be it might have gotten toxic with the karmic. There might be some situation where someone's like kind of guarded, distrusting, something's like one-sided. And so it's like they got. They have to decide. Like, do they want to choose familiarity or do they want to choose true love? You know. And it seems like they're wanting to choose love over fear, a bold gesture, risk, reward. Like they could stay where it's comfortable and familiar, or they could go towards something new and it's more unpredictable. But I think, I think they're wanting the new. I think they're wanting a new start. I think that they're they're. I think the karmic asked to give it one more chance, but I don't think that's, I don't think it's working out. I think they're wanting, um, yeah, they're just wanting a new start. They're wanting their, their potential life partner, true love. And I mean, part of the reason you guys feel so close without, bar with, you know, barely knowing each other is it's soul recognition. It's, it's past life, past life relationship. You know what I mean? Like you guys have known each other before. Sorry. You guys have known each other before. So that's, that's why you guys feel so close. But anyway, if this is um, if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into this, you know, see what's going on with the karmic, with your person, with, you know, whatever else, just send me an email. Like I said, it's right below in the description box. Um, please subscribe if it resonates and any donations are appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching.